All right, let's take a look at Vibrant America's Environmental Toxins Urine Test. Now, this is a great lab, and it's actually one that surprises people. Even surprised me. I ran it on myself, and there are some crazy chemicals in me that I never would have guessed. And uh, part of that's because I grew up on the farm, man. We used to um, wash uh, greasy farm parts in gasoline and things with our hands. We didn't use gloves. We didn't know back then. Um, but yeah, a lot of, you know, from fumes, from uh, petrochemicals, from things in the water, the air. Um, what I like about this lab is that it checks for glyphosate, which is the active ingredient in Roundup, which is sprayed on so many farms. And even when you're buying organic, you still have glyphosate Roundup that moves in the air over onto organic farms because you can't stop that from happening. So even as hard as we try, unfortunately, we still have exposure to these toxic chemicals. So looking for um, these weird toxins that could be way off um, just due to different circumstances in our life. This environmental toxins lab is nice to run because if something's really high and out of range, it's nice to know it so you can actually dial in binders and different things to, to lower, that, lower that toxicity to the body and remove that stress. So um, when you order this lab, you're going to get an email from me or Amy. We're going to ask you for your date of birth, height, weight, just those couple other things we need to get the requisition into the lab. The lab is going to send you a box like this. All right. Do not throw out the box. The box you need to put your sample in to return it. Now, Vibrant also sends you the uh, FedEx return packaging. So you're going to get a FedEx bag and a label that sticks on the front that you're going to have to fill out ahead of time. So just be mindful of that, that you don't accidentally throw that out when you're throwing out the FedEx bag everything came in, okay? So inside the box is your urine sample kit, okay? There's instructions in the back of the bag. So you're gonna pull those out first, all right? And it outlines step-by-step step what to do. It shows what good samples look like, what bad samples look like, and it, here it has a little table of the four urine tests and their special instructions for each. So make sure you read this paper over good as well. And um, so then for the, oh, I'll show you what's in the kit first, and then I'll give you instructions. So inside this bag, you're also gonna have a sticker with a barcode, which has your name and barcode and a spot for you to fill in the collection time. Don't lose that sticker and be sure to fill it out and it goes on this tube. So you've got, this is your urine collection cup. This is the one you're actually gonna pee in in the morning to collect your first pee after fasting. This is a pipette. You just squeeze the bulb to suck it out of this one because this one's just for collection and you're moving it to this shipping tube. This is the one that you put it in and actually goes back to the lab that they use for testing. So there's a max line up about here and you're just gonna keep moving from that one over to this one tap it, get your sticker with your barcode and name, and it goes on that white section there. It's pretty simple, okay? So that's all you use for collection. Now, the Environmental Toxins Lab is one that's going to benefit from fasting. The longer you can fast, the more the body's gonna get those toxins, usually stored in fat, get them out, and uh, try to eliminate them, okay? And that's why we're, we're you know, it'll send to the liver, Liver will send some to the bile, some to the kidneys. We're measuring uh, what's coming out in the kidneys from this urine test. So it says fasting for 24 hours may increase the excretion of toxic chemicals from the adipose tissue. And it says not required, which is good because a lot of people can't jump into a 24 hour fast, but everyone can do a 12 hour fast. So if you stop eating and drinking Sunday night after supper, say 6.30, you stop eating and drinking, still pee whenever you want, okay? All night, you can, well, hopefully not all night. That'd be annoying, but pee before bed. You gotta pee in the night, pee. But then when you wake up in the morning, you're gonna collect your first pee whenever it comes, as long as it's at least 12 hours from when you stopped eating and drinking, okay? So do at least a 12 hour fast, but don't think you have to, that you can't pee in the middle. Pee as much as you have to in the middle, because that actually makes a more concentrated sample later, okay? So the longer you fast, the higher your chances of getting more measurable toxins out. Okay, so that's the only thing there. I would add to not do sauna the night before because that can dump toxins out early. And then when you go pee that night 
or in the night, you could be dumping everything we want to measure then. So I don't like people doing a sauna the night before. Um, we're not doing any provocation. And oh, what was the other thing? Oh, if you're on binders for these things, I would just pause my binders for two days as well. It doesn't say that there, but that's what I pass along to clients. So um, you don't have to put the instructions back in the bag like I did. I just did that because this is new. So you're going to get your sample all done. You got your sticker on, you got your urine in, you got the tap on top, not tap, put the top on good, put it in the bag, seal up the bag, goes back in the box, and then the box goes in the return FedEx bag. Put the label on, call FedEx a day or two beforehand, say you have a pickup, you need them to pick up for, if it's Monday, for Monday, and you already want to have everything ready to go. Have your uh, your shipping label filled out and everything so that when the, when you're done your sample, it's just a matter of putting it all together, sealing the bag and off it goes. You don't want to be sitting there trying to figure out what to fill out if FedEx is standing there. So um, they would not appreciate that. So if you have any questions, shoot me an email, matt at pharmacy.com or use the contact form on this website. Other than that, it's a fairly simple uh, uh, lab to do. And um, yeah, if you want to get that order today, we'll get this kit to you ASAP. And I can't wait to see your labs.